Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Leo friends and friends of Leo. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So if you're new here, I do go over channel messages, oracle cards, and tarot. If you guys are returning, it's good to see you again. Thank you so much for your love and support. So, Leo, getting right on into your message here, what I saw in meditation for you guys to start was actually shown the planet Saturn, and the planet kept shifting into um neptune so i wasn't sure i watched the message here um, i do feel like there is a message of like disillusionment or illusion something that is not necessarily being seen that maybe needs to be seen especially connected to lessons in karma um saturn can definitely symbolize lessons work karma um, being the devil card related to, to Capricorn. So it feels like, um, there's something connected to, like I said, being able to see something here. What I was shown next was like the wobble of the planet. So planets wobble. There was this message of consistent change, like change being a, a consistent thing coming through on that. Um, I was drawn to the left eye, especially so it feels like there's something that is needing to be seen, especially regarding the way that maybe you're receiving something or not receiving something. There could be a block to the flow of receiving, okay? So we're looking at the divine feminine energy there as well. Obsession was something that came through next, and that's very connected to the devil card, Saturn as well. It feels like there is something that is being clung to that needs to be allowed to move through your life. Um, this feels like something that is already over, <laughs> uh, whether it's a relationship, a job, um, maybe a health status, something has changed to a degree where it's not, it's just not going to be the same. And there's some difficulty in accepting the way that things are right now, even towards maybe an obsession. So uh, let's move into your Oracle cards here, Oracle messages. Archetypes, Wild Unknown Archetypes deck is what Spirit wanted to work with. You guys got the Crone and the Sustainer. So both of these cards, there is a note through both of them where there is um, a level of acceptance that comes through. The Crone being the Maiden, Mother, Crone, the three archetypes there. The um, last archetype of that, of that trio, she is, uh, and it doesn't have to be gendered here, but she accepts things the way that they are okay she doesn't um force things outside of the the way that they naturally should be or, or are she's a master of letting things go there is a uh, spiritual sight connected to this it's typically connected to like sages and shamans so i feel like this is a time in your life where we're always we're constantly growing right we're constantly evolving spiritually I feel like this is a process you guys are going through, but Spirit is highlighting right now that there's something that is being clung to that needs to be released. Maybe it is, um, maybe you have been moving from the mother archetype to the crone ar archetype. And this, like I said, this isn't gendered. Could be any gender doing this. Moving through these seasons of our life, maybe you're noticing um, things physically your appearance or even in the way that you feel inside maybe you're not able to move as well or things aren't um, as easy to move around that kind of thing it feels like there is something that needs to be accepted about the way that things are some radical acceptance even something that's come through a couple of the signs recently so the sustainer also coming through here um, the sustainer does take care of the more mundane components of life. We think about like making making food, doing the chores, paying bills, um, maybe not necessarily super exciting, but but really important. They need to be taken care of. I feel like um, some of you may be in this mode where you are the sustainer. Maybe you do have kids. Maybe you're in a relationship and you've ha had this kind of role. Um, for some of you, I do feel like there is some feelings of neglect, okay, as far as like this being cherished is what's coming through, being validated, the work that you're putting into something. But there's a component to the sustainer as well, where they, um, like they're accepting that, well, you know, dishes need to be done or got to pay these bills. I'm not saying that the role should always land on you. Everybody's situation is different. 
but this theme of accepting things for the way that they are and being willing to let go of something is is coming through pretty heavy okay so let's move into um i'm gonna pull an urban crow oracle card here for you guys what do we have for leo please spirit 523 on the timer that's my birthday <laughs> it's also um so 523 when that comes up it is an encouragement to move towards like a higher spiritual purpose um, in your life and not, not necessarily just participating in, but having that be a walk, like, uh, maybe you're feeling called to start a channel yourself where you do med meditations or tarot or, um, what have you, that you're being called to have a more spiritual component to your life as something that is like, um, mm, like a red thread to have it be a constant um, thread throughout your life. Maybe even something that connects things together. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so um, mimicry is what came out here for your urban crow. I feel like um, the message coming through here on this with mimicry, the whatever you're having a hard time releasing right now, this feels like it's it's repetitive behavior from... Uh, maybe even your family, okay? Maybe generational Steph. You are following the footsteps of those who came before you. Well, this is how they did this. Or uh, it may not even be a conscious thought that I'm going to take this action because this is what I'm used to. It's, uh, But it's pulling to connection from what you've seen. Monkey see, monkey do is kind of what's coming through here. Mm, okay, spirit's encouraging you to pay attention. Are you are you reacting from a space? Um, and reacting feels like a harsh word, but are you moving? Are you moving from a space of unconscious, where you are repeating behaviors, maybe of your own or those you've seen around you, just because that's what you've seen, or are you choosing a more present path? That five twenty three. Are you choosing? A more present path spiritually or just being present period so that you can have a little bit better control over the decisions you you are making to choose a different behavior potentially okay let's pull an animal spirit card here for you and then we'll get into tarot messages what message do we have here for leo please spirit wild unknown animals you have a lot of crow energy here for sure. Um, I feel like this is a great opportunity for you guys to see something right now. A pattern, a behavior, like I said, something that really needs to be let go. Hmm. Could have something to do with your family too. So beaver comes through, hyena here on the bottom. Um, with the hyena, there could be, this could be the, the mimicry that you're participating in or behavior you're, you're wanting or needing to change. Spirit's encouraging to change. You may be somebody who is leaning heavily on comedy. Um, even to the point of, you know, maybe even being self-deprecatory, like cracking jokes on yourself all the time, um, for people who are participating in that around you. It gets to a point where, you know, people are like, okay, well, like, oh, just ripping on yourself again, you know. We do use com comedy as a way to alleviate pressure and that sort of thing. But this is talking about the hyena. There's a request actually for sobriety. Um, if you're struggling with being nice to yourself, <laughs> to pay attention to the behaviors that you're participating in around you, like substances, you know, food, any other sort of media that you're um manja <laughs> consuming uh my brain feels so fried right now with with mercury retrograde i am also learning um uh french and spanish <laughs> at the same time so that's been fun i feel like my brain is just like slipping between different words but uh beaver anyway beaver this is um i get a very like family energy connected to the beaver there's somebody who is willing to put work into something to to see something through they may not be the initiator of something but they're gonna put their whole ass into this project okay and so i feel like the message coming through here is um this may not be something that you 
are wanting to initiate yourself as far as releasing whatever this is, this habit, this uh, way of thinking, whatever this obsession is. But once you're aware of it, you're more than happy to see it through. Okay. All right. So let's get into your tarot messages here. We're going to start with the Phantasma deck. Spirit, what messages do we have for Leo at this time? My Leo friend. Leo, Leo, Leo. Um, huge shout out to my channel members, of course, you guys. Hello. Thank you for your love and support. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there is a join button under this video. There's also a link in the description of the video. And if you're interested in personal readings, I do have those open and available. There's a link to my website in the description of the video as well. You can check out all the goodies that are in there, okay? Hmm. So Nine of Cups just fell out here as I'm chit-chatting. I feel like you guys are you guys are putting out this request, something that you desire. You wish for something to, to, to become real or to come into your life. Um, it could be a child for some of you. The obsession could be related to one of your children. But what I'm feeling is that that request, the universe God source is more than happy to give that to you. You are being asked to um, get into a bit better formation as far as this flow with the universe goes. Something needs to be released. Okay. So King of Swords here at the bottom. This is your hope. Hopes and dreams. King of Swords is a master of discernment. So I would wager you guys are actually probably feeling this. You, you might even be aware that there's something that something uh, you know that you're you're getting this feeling of like beating your head against a wall in some way or you're living reliving ground, Groundhog's Day <laughs> uh, and you're working to get to the bottom of this. This is um, the king of with the king of swords energy. I feel this more to be like you're wanting some peace and quiet. You're needing some calm in order to see clearly what's going on. May even, like I said, be aware there's a need for more logic in the situation. Okay, let's keep going. So untamed tarot here for your second deck. Spirit, what do we have here for Leo? Leo, Leo, Leo. Two of Swords there at the split. So a decision that needs to be made, being at a crossroads. Whatever this is, I feel like it's draining you of a lot of your energy. So like I said, you're aware at some level that something needs to be released. Okay. Okay. And this message isn't for everyone. It is a general message. Please keep that in mind. You guys are intelligent, so please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher whether or not the message is for you. And it's okay to leave it behind if it is not. All right. Nine of Swords here at the bottom. Okay. <laughs> so fear, aversion, anxiety, Nine of Swords. Fear, aversion, <laughs> anxiety. <laughs> um, I kind of get this, like, the only thing to fear is fear itself. Whatever, whatever is being obsessed over, and this can be anything from, like, um, you know, a relationship that is no longer over or may, maybe the writing's on the wall that it's getting closer to being over, something financial, something about your living situation, work, relationships, friends-wise, uh, family-wise. Um, there is this energy of... <sighs> I'm going to try to say there spinning on this okay i get this very light even <laughs> my head's getting dizzy feeling into that energy um loss of sleep anxiety the only thing to fear is fear itself is what what is coming through as well you guys may be aware that mm, you're not aware okay so something is becoming scarier the longer that it's being allowed to be obsessed over and whatever that is, whatever, wherever that lands, like I said, on the scale there, um, the sooner that you're letting go and letting something flow, the less scary that something becomes. Okay, let's get into your message. Let's see. Let's get further into your message here. So King of Pentacles to start in your general. King of Pentacles is an energy of being willing to do whatever it takes, what, what needs to be done. There's abundance that's attached to the King of Pentacles here too. So this could be a person in your life. Uh, maybe this is 
a person or a pursuit. This is the person that me maybe are having a hard time letting go of. And energies can be flopped here to you guys. It could be somebody outside of you that may be having an obsession. This does feel like, though, we're talking about Leo for the most part. Um, I feel like if this is a person, this is somebody who gave you the time of day. This is somebody who made you feel good, who made you feel special. Maybe they're another Leo. <laughs> um, and because of this, like, you don't want to not have them in your life or you don't want less of them in your life. You want more. Um, and what I'm getting is that, like, greed can be attached to this card here, too. It, uh, it could fall over into a form of greed if you're trying to pull from somebody else's well to help satisfy your own because it feels good or because they feel good. I just get this vibe. If this is a person, this person doesn't necessarily maybe even need to go from your life. It, the, obsess the obsession or obsessive quality on that would be uh, wanting that those good vibrations all the time, right? Chasing the dragon, 1616, so to speak, in that way. Okay. The moon comes through here next to clarify the king of king of pentacles. So we're talking about something that is unconscious, working its way up. This is it is fear, our fear coming forward. So I feel like like if this is a person, it could be anything else though. Um the fear here is of being alone. Um there was a lot of actually like Isolation and being alone that came through the cancer reading as well. If you feel inclined, I just feel like there's a little bit of a connection to that. Yeah, something about... Um, I'm seeing these, this wolf here, I guess, facing, facing me. Just making these howling sounds. It looks like... Um, the other one, I don't know, maybe they're going around in a circle. There's something about, um, like, quiet the howl. <laughs> um, and the howl here is maybe the discomfort that you're feeling surrounding this person or situation that is leaving. Almost like if I don't, if I'm quiet about it, then it disappears, right? Does that make sense? Does that make sense, Leo? Like maybe a relationship ended and the only thing left is what you are speaking about it, or at least that's how you feel. There's a request to, to stop, like to, to stop speaking about a situation as if it is present tense. Hmm. And I think specifically surrounding like a person, if this is someone that you're trying to, let's say like re-manifest back into your life, what I'm getting on this is stop it. <laughs> like you can do whatever you want to do, but um, this is coming through as not, you're going to have a bad time. You're already having a bad time is kind of what I feel on this. Move forward, okay? There's You're being requested to accept something for the way that it is so that you can move forward in a healthy way. So good stuff for you guys here. You have six of wands. So success, a victory of some sort. Um, this is like, like going through a really shitty time and coming through on the other end, being celebrated for what it is that you have gone through. Um, I get this message of like, let your, let your accomplishments speak for themselves. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So as an example, let's say that the situation you're in is is with a relationship or person that's that's left um not that you're pretending to be anything but as an example let's say a year down the line <laughs> you split with somebody and your friends uh maybe you don't see very often you catch up with them they can tell you're still going on and on about this person so it's clear to them that like oh well you know they're not over this person or maybe they're not even doing well versus something like you're not even talking about this person at all. You've moved on with your life. You're maybe you're hitting the gym again. Maybe um, you start traveling more. You know, you have stories to talk about outside of this experience with this person. And that what you're sharing with people, that alone says everything. It's a vibration in and of itself. You're telling everyone around you 
what you want, where you're going based on the things that you're already doing as well. So that's kind of what I get, like let your accomplishments, accomplishments speak for themselves. Start doing and let that be a message to anyone, including yourself. Nine of Pentacles comes through here too in the good stuff. This is, a glow, this is your glow up for sure. Um, I feel like, <laughs> like we can't, uh, hang on, let me say that. We can't shine unless we allow ourselves to be polished. Hmm? Hmm? Interesting. So with, interesting, the process of like polishing, typically there is, or maybe always, there is some form of abrasive uh, chemical or cloth that allows for something to be polished, like silver, tarnish coming off of silver, or I mean, polishing anything, I guess like, you know, like even polishing granite, you're, you're using an abrasive technique. Oh, I kind of like that message, actually. So what you're going through right now, to let the natural abrasiveness of something polish you, instead of being like if you're resisting that, um, maybe it hurts more, right? Suffering comes through when we start to resist pain. A part of this pain, the purpose is to polish you. Love it. Okay. Glow up for Leo. Yay. Um, awesome. Okay. So let's move into what you don't see coming here. What's in the dark? You have Page of Cups. There could be a new offer of love for some of you. Um, what you don't see, though here in general is what's possible. The Page of Cups has an idea they want to make real, bring into this reality. There are steps that need to be taken to make that real. So what you don't see here is like everything that you don't see. <laughs> you don't see the potential. You don't see what's possible outside of whatever circle track you may be on right now. And this isn't talking about like forcing ourselves through grief or anything like that. There is a, a process to grief. Um, and a, I think a part of why those steps that we go through with grief, why we go back and forth are because we're, we're working with our own brain to heal. And this requires that we're constantly having appropriate dialogues with ourselves too, to feel and to move forward and to allow other things to come in as well. Um, there could be a message coming in for some of you, though. What is the message about? Cat's got your tongue. Hmm? You want me to say? <laughs> Was it a good message? It's a good message. Okay. Hmm. Some of you may be receiving, um, I feel like, an actual letter, too. Mm, good news in some way. Okay, let's keep moving forward. Six of Cups. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is interesting too. Um, these are, what you don't see here with Six of Cups are maybe happy memories. Um, or you may be obsessing over happy memories. If this is a person, okay, relationship, I feel like what you're being requested to see here is maybe how you're putting somebody on a pedestal to remember something a little bit more completely. Um, this could be somebody from your past though, too. Somebody, and we are in Mercury retrograde. Eh? An ex may be trying to come back message wise. You may be this person trying to fulfill this energy too. Um, I don't have a good feeling about it. I'll be honest. <laughs> I know this message is supposed to be a good thing, but uh, I don't feel like it's connected to an ex coming back. Okay. I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge proponent for it. There, there's a reason why we run certain races and then decide to leave. Okay. <laughs> um, don't get back on that path. But what you don't see coming is the ability to build happy memories again. Okay. Okay. Let's keep moving forward here. Your difficulty at this time or obstacle, the mentor, the hierophant. Um, I do feel like this is a time, like I was saying with 523, this is a, a this is spiritual involvement, ascension. Um, the difficult 
the difficulty right now is going through that process, period. I think um, mm, some of you might be struggling with the expression, like allowing certain emotions to come out. Because a lot of times there's people, people believe or think that like being the spiritually of all person, you know, we're just omen it out all the time, right? Um, which there's, there's a degree of that, but also they don't take, they don't take shit from people either. There's a, there's a healthy system of boundaries. Okay. So what I'm feeling like with this is, um, some of you may be trying to spiritually bypass something too. Interesting. It is okay to just feel whatever it is we're feeling without identifying with it, even just letting it be what it is. Okay, what else do we have here for Leo? Ten of Cups, too. Um, yeah, this feels like... Love, okay, Ten of Cups. Um, so love is, is difficult right now. This could be a happy family, too. Maybe a family did come apart. Um, I can see that this is difficult, for sure. It's not ever easy to have those kinds of big changes. And the message that's come through here pretty clearly is there is a need to accept something for the way that it is for your health to help move you forward to where you need to go okay oh you know what leo i did not draw a mudra card for you <laughs> i'm just looking at this like whoops let's do that real quick and then i'll move into the extended extended portion here so spirit what does leo what's leo's mudra at this time mudras are hand symbols or gestures that direct certain kinds of energy in our hands and fingers for specific results what would be helpful for leo at this time enthusiasm <laughs> a new start hey <laughs> yeah okay so to wrap that up nicely in a bow yes it's time for a new start and this looks like uh ring fingers here i'm going to show this to you and read read the back so um, Narayana Mudra, dedicated to the spirit of new beginnings. This mudra helps at the start of things, like a new project or when you plan a change in your circumstances. It activates the energies needed for getting down to it, for keeping going, for patience, and for optimism. Very like King of Pentacles energy, I feel like. Regularly starting anew is as much a part of life as the spring is part of the year. Even the oldest trees produce new branches, leaves, and blossoms. And the smallest beginning can produce great things. A fresh start brings new impetus, pulls, pulls one out of a rut, presents a welcome challenge, helps us to dare, and brings excitement and success into our lives. In your mind's eye, you can already see what is freshly emerging. You work on the picture until it completely meets your needs, desires, and possibilities, and fires your enthusiasm. I start afresh and taste the beginner's eagerness. Yes. Oh, I love that. Um... It's also 11. So this message of like the interior world being presented in, in an exterior way as well as above. So below what is inside is also outside of us. Okay, Leo, I love you guys. I hope this was helpful. I am going to move into the extended. Like I said, there's links in the description if you want to join me there. If not, it was good to see you. Thank you for joining me today. Again, personal readings are open if you want to check that out. So in the extended, I'm going to go into messages from your higher self directly love and advice, career and advice, and what is most likely being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions. Okay. Um, love you, Leo. It's good to see you. Please take care. We'll see you soon. Be well.